Today's cook is the mighty fish cake. We're making flavor packed fish cakes, which we are then going to air fry. These are not gonna be bland white fish based fish cakes. These are superstars. And the reason why these are superstar fish cakes is because we are using smoked mackerel. This is gonna give us such an incredible flavor profile you're going to be blown away and you're not going to want to make fish cakes any other way so the rest of the ingredients that we're going to need are some potatoes because it is a potato based fish cake but because of the smoked mackerel the balance between the mackerel and the potato works really 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 well okay now additionally we're going to need an egg we're going to be boosting the flavor with some feta cheese, some ground white pepper, and some mustard powder. This is gonna be so cool, right? And then we are gonna be breading it in some good old fashioned breadcrumbs, okay? You could use some of the fancy ones, you could make your own breadcrumbs, doesn't really matter, they all work the same. So the first step is to actually prep your potatoes. Now you just essentially need to make mash. Now. I've made this just by uh, pricking the potatoes and then smashing them in the microwave. But you could boil them, whatever you want. Just doing it in the microwave is gonna, they're gonna be less waterlogged. They're gonna be essentially drier. Now these are gonna take anywhere between about seven and 15 minutes in the microwave, depending on how many you put in the microwave. So I put these in for about, I think seven minutes, is it gonna say? And then they weren't done and it's because I, too closely packed and they took it they took another three three or four minutes so make sure that they are fully cooked because the air frying process is essentially going to be just crisping up the outer coating so once your potatoes are ready to go you're just going to basically get all of that flesh out don't waste any of it stick it in your bowl go through all of the potatoes for the amount that you are making and then give it a bit of a mash as you can see it's it's fairly dry because we didn't waterlog them we haven't added anything to them because we don't need to so the next process is prepping the mackerel it's ready to eat it's ready to eat you can see it's greasy it's going to add so much flavor and this is this was actually honey smoked mackerel okay it wasn't the peppered one you could use either they both work really really well uh, but this is just my personal favorite because it's nice and sweet <laughs> so basically flake up uh, the fish do that to all that you've got i had three fillets here three fillets and four potatoes then once you're done you don't have you don't have to you know break it down into the tiniest bits you can saw, saw how big they were, uh, but you want loads of pieces so they run through all of the fish cakes. So then you're just gonna mix it through uh, first to make sure it's incorporated. Then we're gonna go through with about a teaspoon of the mustard powder. This works really, really well. Mustard powder, mashed potato, really, really cool. Again, another teaspoon of the white uh, ground pepper. Again, ground pepper, white ground pepper. Uh, and potato match made in absolute heaven okay then we're going to go for the feta cheese i used about um nearly a half of the block okay you know because this is again this is just going to fold through essentially fold through and it's going to give us those nice salty bites as we go through so it's just you know we're, we're, we're adding lots and lots of flavor if you don't like feta cheese just leave it out you know, you've got more than enough flavor from the fish um, and the, the the powdered spices that we put into it. Now, as you can see, this is really easy, really easy, no mucking about. Just take a handful and basically just form it into a patty, essentially, and it will, it will come together. You know, it's not gonna be runny, it's not gonna be dry, it's gonna come together really, really nicely, okay? So, you're just gonna basically squash them into like a kind of burger formation, okay? And the, once when these are cooked, they will stay the same size, okay? They're not like, you know, you make a hamburger and then you cook it and you, you know it's gonna shrink by about, you know, 50%. These are gonna, what they are, this is how big they're gonna be. So you can see that I managed to make eight from those four potatoes and three fillets. We're then gonna dunk it in a beaten egg. 
beaten egg, okay? And then you need a bowl with your breadcrumbs, and I like to do it this way where, you know, you can put the breadcrumbs in, and then you can drop it in and then give it a shake, and then what it does is it kind of, the breadcrumbs will stick where it's needed, and you can do a bit of flipping action, you know, if you don't like mind making a bit of a mess, and you can see, you know, there is enough breadcrumbs on there, fully coated, and then just go through the process of going through and doing the rest of them. Obviously, don't make, make sure that you've got enough breadcrumbs in the tub, but don't waste them. You know, don't waste them, you know. So put them in as you go through, okay? So you can see nice eight that were done. So we set up the air fryer for about 15 minutes. We've given it a bit of a spray. I did preheat this, but to be perfectly honest, you don't need to. You don't need to. I just did it by habit, I think. Um, and then in this little tiny air fryer, I managed to put three of them in there. Okay, three of them in there. You know, if you've got a bigger air fryer, you're going to be able to put more of them in there. And when I get the double one soon, I'm not going to have this problem, am I? So three, three went in there. And then basically after uh, about five minutes, I flipped them over. Now be careful because they, they, there are potatoes. So the, if, if you're too heavy handed, you could end up, you know, breaking these bad boys. Okay, then give them a bit of a, a spray on that side as well. And then stick them in for about another five five minutes. You know, we're literally just crisping. We're warming them through because everything's good. We're warming them through, but we're also making that crispy coating, which is really super cool, right? So once they're ready, they're ready to eat, mate. So we're just going to dish them up. So the three that we made, you can see they are super crispy, super golden. They are ready to go. And I think that I served this up with some tartar sauce, maybe, uh, that I had kicking about in the fridge. And I think we're probably ready for the taste test. Oh, I had also a little wedge of lemon because, you know, everyone wants a nice little cheeky wedge of lemon uh, to finish off this dish. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for the taste test. Today's cook was fish cakes now. These are the type of fish cakes that I grew up on, okay? Where the main ingredient volume is actually potato rather than just using all fish, which you can do. But the beauty here is we use the smoked fish, which has so much flavor. It's so robust. It doesn't, uh, you know, just go to nothing. It's got some real texture, but the main thing is the flavor. And, you know, you don't need loads and loads of loads. The, the weight between potato and fish can definitely be uh, towards the potato because it has so much flavor, okay? And as I say, I grew up eating these type of fish cakes and these are absolutely great. I think it's still a little bit hot. I probably jumped ahead a bit too early, but you know, there we go. Where have I gone? There he is. So yeah, really, really, really pleased with uh, these bad boys. They look absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Um, and you can tweak these pretty much loads of different combinations. You could use the panko breadcrumbs instead of uh, these uh, golden traditional breadcrumbs. Uh, you could obviously use pretty much any fish, but as I say, this is my favorite fish for this recipe. And of course, if you want to throw in other bits and pieces, vegetables, uh, sorry, herbs, and spring onions and that sort of stuff, it's great. Now I'm serving it up with a little bit of tartar sauce and I'm gonna be having some mushy peas with this in a minute. And you've got a little sprinkle of the lemon just to uh, just to cut through it. So without further ado, let's just have the taste. Wonderful, wonderful. As I said, the flavor of that fish is so powerful, so unique, that you only need that amount. 
And here's, here's the kicker. I've added a little bit of flavor. We added the mustard and we added the white pepper. It's the match made in heaven. It is super powerful, super flavorful. And give it a go. Let me know what you think. I know if you like fish cakes, you like smoked fish, you're gonna absolutely love these. So let me know in the comments if you try them. And uh, obviously, as always, the big thing is to uh, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you've been cooking recently. I want to hear from you um, and check out the description if you f would like to. So anyway, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video next week. Take it easy.